Hey, what's up guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another mod showcase and today we're gonna take a look at the colorful portals mod What this mod does is it allows you to travel back and forth between anywhere It's kind of like a teleporting mod except you can go between dimensions too So if I put a portal in the nether I could put another one in like Twilight Forest and go back and forth between them Which is pretty awesome. I haven't seen any other mods that could do that But first there are a couple recipes you must know so the first one is the stain proof bucket and the recipe for this one is three iron ingots and four glass panes So pretty easy to make this and after you do you can make the bucket of colorful water And this is what you need to light the portals and the recipe is a bucket of water a stain proof bucket Lapis lazuli and I've been trying to pronounce this better now I really heard it in the comments after last time when I pronounced it so badly um, We need dandelion yellow rose red ink sack Cactus green, cocoa beans, and bone meal. So this is pretty much all you need to know. And to make the portals, what you're going to need is either wool or colored clay. I'm actually going to make one right now just to show you exactly how it works before we get into like the more complicated portals. But yeah, you make it just like you would any normal portal. So we'll make it like this. And I will put down my colorful water. And I feel like I always have to put the corners in. It looks so weird without it. So now what I need is a second portal for this to go to. So let's say I really want to go on top of this mountain, but I, I don't feel like climbing anymore. Well, now I don't have to if I make a portal with this. And you can actually make many different ones with the same color, which I'll show you after. All right, so we will light this up. And when I go through it, it should bring me back over there. And it did. Awesome. So what you can do is actually set up three of the same color and teleport between three different spots. You can see I have a blue one right here, another blue one over there, and one over there. So if I go in here... It will bring me to the second one I made, which is this one. And then I go in here, it'll bring me to the third one I made. So very cool. You can go between three different areas and basically as many as you want. You can make like 10 of them. And it'll go in the order from when you built it. So it could be really useful. You can set up some nice stuff like to travel very far away. So you're probably wondering why some of the portals have white corners and black corners. They actually do do something different. This one right here with the white corners will teleport me somewhere randomly in my dimension. I've already jumped into it before and it brings us in some cave very far away. And you can see the portal does not have the white corners anymore. And pretty much any time you make a pink portal now, if you use that color, it's going to bring you like back between these areas. So keep that in mind. Luckily, there are plenty of colors between like wool and clay. So if I jump back in, should bring me back where we started. So pretty useful. So I was actually testing some stuff out, and if you make multiple portals with the same color with white corners, you can't teleport between them. So if I go in here, it's going to bring me to a random location in like a cave next to a mine shaft. But if I go in here, it's going to bring me out through the other portal. But if I go in through this one, it'll be a different random location. Every time I end out in a cave for some reason. I don't know. I have the worst luck ever. But yeah, if I go back in here, it'll bring me back to the first portal. Kind of interesting, but yeah, you can go between many different locations if you want to. So the portals with black corners, what they do is teleport you randomly in a different dimension. And if you have a lot of mods installed, it could definitely be very cool. So I'm going to jump into this one right here. And we're going into a different dimension. Now we are in the nether, which is pretty cool. And I actually have another portal I set up here just to show an example. But first, we're going to go back through. All right, so I'm back where I started. And this one right here is going to bring me to a different dimension as well. And this one actually... Into Twilight Forest in one of the structures, which I thought was really cool. So what I can do is I built a portal right here. And if I jump into this one, it will bring me into the nether. So I built a brown one in both dimensions. So you can actually go from one dimension to the other, which I think is really cool. Like I can travel between places so much quicker now. So just to show another example, I have this white portal right here. So if I jump in, I am now in a cave. But if I jump in again... My third portal is actually in Twilight Forest in one of the darkest biomes in the world. And I have another portal right here. If I jump in, I should go back to the normal world. And I have a bunch more portals around here. So you can really do a ton of stuff with this. Here's another like random dimension one. Back into the nether. You can definitely have a lot of fun with this. But be careful. Sometimes your portal gets like lit on fire. Like happened to me right here. I'm right next to lava. But yeah, it's definitely very cool to mess around with. And you can travel between many different locations if you want to. But anyways, guys, that's about all there is to show with this mod. If you want to check it out, the download is in the description. And if you enjoyed the review, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribed. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.